Uh, golf. Do we have the Masters of Golf? Uh, finish with Sergio Garcia winning his first major. And for me, the Masters, the Augusta Masters, I've watched that Sunday, the final round, every year since I can remember. I watched that final round for all the years that I can remember. And as a child, my family played golf. To spend time with my dad, you had to pick up the six and play golf. And there's a couple of lessons that I learned playing golf. First, there's an important thing to understand. The difference between a professional and an amateur is not the difference in the quality of their best shot. It's the difference between the best shot and the worst shot. So a professional's best shot and their worst shot are actually quite close together. The worst they're going to hit is probably just off the fairway. The best they're going to hit is straight down the middle. The worst the golfer gets, it's not that their best shot gets worse. It's that their worst shot gets hugely variable. So a, a pro is not going to send it too far wide, whereas myself or an amateur golfer, on a good day we can hit it straight down the middle just like a pro. But we can also hit it way out into left field, right field, 45 degrees with a curve on it. And to me, this, this idea that golf is not a game about one shot winning it. Golf is a game where really you can lose it in one shot, but it's all the 75, 80 shots that you put together that leads you to being able to win. So golf teaches you you can't win it in one shot, but you can certainly lose it in one shot. I think the second thing I, I learned playing golf is you hit a ball, it is where it is, and you got to play it from where it is. And when I was young, if I put the ball into the sand, into the bunker, I would walk all the way up to that bunker annoyed at myself, angry, frustrated that I'd been unable to hit a better shot. And instead of pausing, clearing my mind and, and hitting a shot from the bunker, I would take a wild, angry swipe and probably make it even worse. And as I got better and better at golf and played more and more, you learn you got to hit the ball and you accept wherever it is. And you get where you could be out of your head and you walk up to the ball accepting where it is, accepting if there's a problem with the lie, and you got to play it from there. And this ability to let go of what could have happened, to let go of where you should be, and accept you are where you are, and you're going to play from there. And I found that a real hard mental battle. But I think in life, you need to be able to deal with the blows, to find that today, you're not exactly where you hope to be. And someone passes you a piece of work, and it's not exactly the way you'd like it to be. You go to a meeting with a client and it's not prepared the way you'd like it to be. The ability to, to quickly accept the reality as it is and play from where you are, I think is a hugely important thing of golf. The other thing that I got from golf, third, is you're out in nature with friends. And to me, the best conversations that I had as a kid were out for four or five hours walking around what you realize actually the game of golf is is just an excuse to get out into nature with a good group of friends and there's competition and there's challenge and there's a little bit of, of rivalry and there's some tests over whether you're winning or you're losing and whether you'd break the rules to try and win but for me i my memory of my youth playing golf is memory of walking down the 18th with a good group of friends having had great conversations and really feeling connected. And that golf is just an excuse to have really good, deep conversations out in nature. I think three things I definitely took from golf, and when I watch the Masters, I always watch as they come down that last round, you can see the pressure on these professional golfers as they start to think, oof, if it all goes well, I can win. But they've got to hold it together. And last year, Jordan Spieth was a six-shot lead. It looked like he was going to win it. And in one hole, he blew it all apart with a six-over. So golf is a game where the, the key is that your worst shot isn't terrible. The key is to learn to play the ball from where it is, not where you'd like it to be, and to go with good people and enjoy the conversations that you have while you're out there in nature. 
It's Connor from ESM Madrid. Thanks again for your subscriptions, your comments, sharing these videos. All those things help to inspire me to keep making them, to know that the words I'm sharing are, are being listened to. Thanks again.